हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मेरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉट टॉक अबाउट अर्ली रिकॉर्ड बुक पार्ट वन इन टुडे वीडियो विल सी दैट विच रेगुलेशन ऑफ मारपोर टॉक्स अबाउट अर्ली रिकॉर्ड बुक पार्ट वन आफ्टर दैट विल सी वॉट आर मेनली रिकॉर्ड इन द अर्ली रिकॉर्ड बुक आफ्टर दैट विल सी वॉट इज द लीगल इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द ओ आर बी एंड देन वी विल सी वॉट इज टू बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द ओ आर बी and how which code we should follow when we record after that we will see how the entry should be made what are the common mistake we make while we make the entry in the orb and then we will see that what are the common error and best practices and after that we will see psc guideline while checking the orb and what should we avoid to avoid the psc detention so please tune till last I guarantee that after watching the video you will have a clear concept of ORB and you will know that what mistake generally is made in the ORB so friend marine engineering hub is a platform which make video like this which will be beneficial for your examination purpose as well as for your ship related service so friend please encourage us by subscribing your one subscription provide us a lot of encouragement friends marine engineering hub has started the membership If you want to join, you can join, and you can jo- enjoy the exclusive perks. So let's start the today video of ORB Part One. So basically, in this pictures, you can see there are two ORB: ORB Part One, ORB Part Two. The Part One is basically talks about the machinery space operation, and Part Two talks about the cargo and ballast operation. So the we in this video will talk about Part One. The part one is mentioned in Regulation Seventeen of the Marpol Seventy Three Seventy Eight, and part two is mentioned in the Regulation Thirty Six of the Marpol Seventy Three Seventy Eight. So basically, part one and part two both are required for the ship whose, if it is an oil tanker, then one fifty GT and above, and if it is not an oil tanker, and if it is carrying oil capacity more than two hundred meters. Meter cube or more. In that case, 400 GT and above should have this ORB Part Two. So now the question comes to our mind is that what things are mainly recorded in the ORB? So basically, in the ORB Part One, basically whenever we are doing any internal transfer that need to be recorded. After that, whenever we are doing any ballasting or cleaning of oil fuel tank that to be recorded. Whenever we are doing any discharge of dirty blast or cleaning of water from the fuel tank, that to be recorded. Whenever we are collecting and disposing any sludge, means whenever we are transferring from main engine cabin drain to sludge holding tank, or whenever we are transferring from sludge holding tank to the solar system facility, all these things need to be properly recorded in the ORB. Okay, so basically. any discharge overboard need to be recorded and also what we do we for the conveyance purpose we also attach the receipt which is given by the shore reception facility also whenever you are taking bunkering of fuel oil or lube oil in, in bulk in that case also to be recorded in the orb so basically if we synops provide a synopsis of that it means that each of this operation should be promptly recorded in the orb you should not miss the chronology means whenever you are doing any transfer f- internally from any tank that should be recorded and whenever you are doing any cleaning of the ipp tank that should be recorded whenever doing any discharge overboard that to be recorded and whenever you are doing any bunkering operation that also to be recorded so and after recording that the officer in charge should sign followed by the chief engineer and counter signed by the master of the ship so now the question comes to our mind i am t- telling you that each and everything should be recorded why because the orb hold the legal importance what do i mean by legal importance basically the early record book can be presented in a court in order to carry out the judicial proceeding means if any judicial proceeding is going on in that case the orb can be presented as a documentary evidence of the record so therefore it has a great value of legal importance and hence the 
after that the competent authority of the administration have been given power to inspect the all record book whenever they are coming on board after that whenever they are boarding the ship or whenever they are coming to offshore terminal they can check the orb and if they want they can also make a copy of the orb so apart from that the us government in the uscg what happened basically if you have made any incorrect or missing your record is missing or it is incorrect in that case it will be considered as a false statement and you can be given a criminal it will be considered as a criminal offense and the individual will also be fined along with the company so as you can see what value the orb hold so if anybody tell you in the examination what is the importance of the orb the first thing you should say the orb hold the legal importance what do i mean by legal importance it means that it is can be admissible in any judicial proceeding apart from that usg also go one ahead up and they tell that if you had made any false statement or you have done any missing in that case it will be considered as a criminal offense and you along with the company means the individual like the chief engineer officer in charge and master along with the individuals along with the company will be fined and will be criminal offense can be penal proceeding can be take place so that much importance the orb hold after that what thing should be recorded in the orb i have told you but how it should be recorded so basically here you can see now the date code iota number and record of operation and signature of officer in charge so here you have to record the date the date should be recorded in this format you have to write the date and month and then the year okay after that you have to write the code on along for which code you are writing this after that you have to write the item number and then you have to write in a specific format like this much meter cube of sludge transfer from this much of tank means this designation tank designation as per the iopp nomenclature after that followed by your writing you have to sign the officer in charge have to sign along with the name of the officer means now you see he have made the signature of the officer along with the name along with the rank and along with the date and followed by the counter sign of the master and the chief engineer so you can see this is how each operation each transfer should be recorded so date geographical position quantity tank identification and duration of operation all things should be recorded in the orb after that the post authority can take the copy and after the orb is finished means now we can see here if you see here whenever you are filling an oil record book you have to write from which period to which period means suppose it is a 60 page book so it sustain for suppose 3 or 4 month so after the finishing of 4 month you have to keep this orb for at least a period of 3 year from the last entry means whenever your oil record book is finished you have to keep the book for at least 3 year on board after the last entry okay so now uh, here you are seeing that uh, see c code sometime you will see d code so how this code is decided basically this code is decided based on the type so if you have done any ballasting or cleaning of the fuel oil tank which is randomly seldomly done then you have to do right code a if you are doing any discharge of dirty blast or cleaning water from the fuel oil tank you have to write b mainly in ship basically what operation we do we do the operation of c d and h okay and i so in most of the entry of the orb will be with the c d h and i c will you talk about disposal of oil residue it means when whenever you are doing any transfer or you are burning the incinerator all thing will be recorded under the code c after that now whenever you are doing any discharge overboard or disposal or bilge accumulation in the machinery space that will be recorded in the code d but if it is a automatic discharge overboard in that case it will be recorded in a code e now uh, whenever you are doing any condition of the 
what is the condition of all the discharge monitor and control system that are recorded in the code F. After that, any unexceptional discharge of the oil has occurred. In that case, you have to record in code G. But whenever you are doing any bunkering of fuel or bulk of the lever oil, in that case, you have to record H. And whenever you are doing any additional operation procedure or general remark, you have to record in code I. So what we do in uh, normally, there is a procedure that most of the transfer in the engine room are done under code C and D. And whenever you are doing, doing bunkering of lube oil or uh, heavy oil in bulk, you have to record in code H. And after that, you, uh, whenever you are doing any maintenance of the oily water separator, you can record in code I. So this is how the code is decided. Now, as an officer, how you are going to make the entry. So first thing you should keep in mind that whenever you are making an entry, it should be in a chronological order. What do I mean by chronological order? Now suppose there is a tank, purified drain tank, all mist drain tank, like all these tanks are there. Suppose first day you have done, you have transferred from purified drain tank to sludge holding tank. And second day you have transferred from scavenger drain tank to sludge holding tank. And third day you have transferred from compressor air drain tank to sludge holding tank. So you have to record day by day that on, on 6th of March you have done this, on 7th of March you have done this, on 8th of March you have done this. So chronological order it should be recorded as per the transfer which I have done. You should not do haphazardly like 6th of March I have done means I write 6th of March first after that 8th of March then 7th of March. No, you have to write proper day wise. Okay, so that it is a chronological order. After that, all the dates should be entered in a format of date, month, and year. It means if you suppose it is 16 March 2009, in that case, it should be read 16 MAR, then 2009. After that, the incineration or landing as source of the oily garbage out of filter should be not recorded in the ORB part 1, it should be recorded in a garbage record book it's very important the most common mistake what we what we do is that any incineration remaining or the uh, ass of the incinerator or the oily record book uh, gar gar the oily garbage which we are transferring overboard uh, over to the source facility uh, that are being recorded in a ORB so that should be avoided means whatever the remaining ass of the incinerator or the oily garbage which is given to the reception facility that should be recorded in a garbage record book okay after that all the entries which you have made should be signed by the officer in charge what do i mean officer in charge means during whom watch means there is normally on board suppose it's a man ship so second engineer third engineer fourth engineer are doing the watch so in whose watch the transfer is been done that is will be considered as officer in charge so that officer in charge if suppose it is done in the third engineer watch bill transfer or search transfer then you have to write third engineer should sign here he will be officer in charge his name and his rank and the date of month so that will be done if it's done in the second engineer watch then it should be like that after that whenever you have made the entry suppose now you have consumed one through three line now suppose you have made the entry and you have consumed three line after that your next entry should be below that only you should not leave any line empty that is very very important because if you make any line empty and after that it may happen that you can modify or you can do any modification so therefore it is said that you should not leave any line empty after the entry it means that if you have made suppose if you had made this you have made first entry like this if, if your first entry your second entry should start immediately below this your second entry should start immediately below this but this suppose you are making this entry so this entry should come immediately below this and after that this entry should come immediately below this so there should be no any line empty between the successive entry so that is very important you should remember in mind after that if you suppose you have done any wrong entry it may happen you're writing now suppose you have instead of such transfer you have done mistake or uh, you have done any tank so you just cancel it by a single stroke you can see means just cancel it by a single stroke followed by a initial means you will sign here like this okay like you will sign you will sign there and after that okay that will be 
good and enough you should not make any scribbling you means you should not do like this okay if you do like this it is considered as offense you only should you should do only a single strike strike of a line so that is very important means whenever you are doing anything you should do like this means a single strike to the line should be made so that why we are doing it so that means what mistake we have done that should be also transparent to the officer okay after that the tank nomenclature should be recorded in a iopc format means what do i mean by iopc format it means that in the iopc basically what happened in the iopc the certification is given in which the tank name are mentioned tank name are mentioned like what tank name are mentioned that such tank scavenger tank like all these tank are mentioned so these names should be given properly okay so these names should be given properly as per their name means that is a fuel oil tank a fuel oil tank b means whatever thing are mentioned in the iopc you should mention in the same way so see here it is written the tank name designation which as per the iopc after that the recording should be made the recording of general maintenance pertaining to the OWS remain the voluntary and can also be recorded under the code I. It is recorded under code I. Okay. So this OWS maintenance is recorded under code I. So these things are very important to so keep in mind. After that, now the whole thing means what reference how where, where you will get so you will get in mepc circular 736 even if you want what mistake we are making how the recording should be made you can get in mepc circular 736 the recording you can get okay after that what are the common error and best practices so failure to make the entries means what are the common error we do we basically uh, fail to make any entry after that continuity of entry and whenever we have made any entry the volume doesn't add up or exceed the quantity and incorrect reference of the item code that and incorrect date so that is a common error which we make means we we have given any wrong date we have given any incorrect reference we the volume doesn't add up after that the continuity of the entries and the failure to make the entries so these are the things we should keep in mind the common mistake which you make while you make the ORB entry now whenever the PSC is coming on board whenever the PSC is coming on board then what they will look they will look that the whatever the entry is in made and the signature is proper or not and the entries are proper or not any wrong code is been used means like C instead of if suppose you are doing you have done the bunkering operation now huh? you have done the bunkering operation huh? which comes under code h but you have written c so that also fall under wrong code so friend these are the things you should keep in mind while doing the entry so friend if you like the video then please do subscribe and please do follow thank you friend have a good day